How did it uh, come to uh, bringing this uh, Rainier uh, Hess to Los Angeles? Is he here specifically to speak with your group? Yes, he is. Uh, he is absolutely here for that. And, um, you know, Ben mentioned before that he saw an article in the Wall Street Journal, and that's exactly what started it. The Wall the the excuse me, the article was so um, moving for him. He said, "Here's somebody else that's doing the same kind of work that I'm trying to do, and he's in Germany. I want to talk to this man. I want to meet this man." So I got on the phone. I started looking online. I found out information. And I sent him an email. We, uh, he wrote me back the next day. We set up phone calls. And then right away, the two of them did a Reddit together. And, uh, and then they, they just started corresponding. Their conversations on the phone would last an hour. And uh, the time came that we were coming to Germany. And so we made plans. We're in Germany. We have to see each other. So he drove about 150 miles down to where we were, and we drove a little bit uh, further north to meet at a nice place. We spent some time together, and it was the friendship was so nice. The two of them were amazing together. They had the same ideas for remembrance and to carry the stories on and to, to um, you know, to pro to promote. Uh, peace to promote, uh, it, to teach the children against bullying, against uh, anti-Semitism. Uh, so, I mean, that's their goal. And the more vocal they are about it, you know, for every other person that hears, that's just one more person you can make a difference for. Uh, so one of the other things that we have done is started this I Shout Out program. And Reiner and his group, the Footsteps group, has been sharing it also online. And our goal is to get six million shout outs to be the voice for the people that have been silenced and uh, for the voices that were silenced. And this campaign, we really feel is going to make a difference because it's getting to the young people and they're checking off that they're against bullying and they're checking off that they're against hatred. They're checking off that they're against anti-Semitism, uh, you know, fairness in the workplace. And it's, it's bringing just the awareness of that. And, you know, the, the, I don't, what happens in the brain when somebody says something positive like that? Uh, in your own head, and it's just one step to make a difference. Um, when he referred to, in his talk, when he referred to uh, modern day prejudice, um, he used uh, Muslims as the example, but not Jews. Do you think he's not in touch with the, uh, modern anti Semitism, either in Europe or in Islamic culture? I think he is very much in touch with it. Uh, you know, my father listens to all kinds of newscasts all the time. He reads a lot. He's a big reader and reads the newspaper. I, I meant Rainer. Oh, Rainer. Yeah, um, he, he, oh, no. he, he mentioned Islamic. Uh, you know, he, he mentioned that the, the, the Muslims are the victims right, of, I, of, of, of hatred and, and uh, not acknowledging the anti Semitism which takes place both in Europe and uh, throughout the world. I think that with him, it was just an example of one. That was, that was being mentioned. If there was more time, it would have been a little bit fuller of an answer. But I no, I'm sure he's in touch with it because he, sp he speaks it and lives it every day. I mean, he, you know, living in Germany, there's a lot of um, uh, neo-Nazis there and almost everywhere he goes, he really needs to have security around him. Uh, so not here in the United States because nobody really you know, yeah. knows as much who he well, is. Yeah, but it's a global movement, the Stormfront movement. And That's so if, right. if they, they could tell people here, neo-Nazis here, and so he could certainly be jeopardized here. Um, will he be doing anything besides tonight? Uh, there, we have special um, engagements at the Shoah Foundation, and tomorrow he is meeting with survivors and um, second generation. He is doing, the three of them are speaking in Las Vegas together later on this week on Wednesday also. Uh, is there a connection to Las Vegas with your family? My parents retired to Las Vegas about 22 years ago. So Ben lives in Las Vegas right now. 
And the Las Vegas has a huge Jewish community, and they have a lot of survivors there. Very big survivor community. It's dwindling down, um, but yeah, it's, it, it really is a people wouldn't think so, but it's a huge uh, survivor community, and they're very involved. What kind of reaction do you get from uh, real Holocaust survivors encountering him here? Do they do they feel conflicted in accepting his message? Uh, Reiners or Benz? Reiners, Reiners. I don't think so. I, you know, I think that when um, when people talk about forgiveness, you know, just as, as long as the Holocaust survivor realizes that we're not talking about forgiveness. So this relationship is not about my father or a Holocaust survivor forgiving what has happened or what, they, what the Nazis have done. It's about, it's, it's just about today moving forward and trying to create peace in the world and getting beyond it.